What up guys, Disney Chubbs back at it again, and today I'm going to show you how to make a filter for your mask. But before we continue with the video guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and at the end of the video, smash that like and tell us that you care. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to turn this or this regular air vent filter for your um, AC into this, a filter for your mask, one of these guys. So uh, let's start with the filter. So the filter I got was uh, Merv 13. Now Merv 13 is um, pretty much like one of the best uh, f uh, ratings that you can get. There's, I think there's a couple higher ones, um, but this one, I'm looking it up on the website, it says, it blocks out cooking oil smoke, smoke, smog, and virus carriers. So basically, it blocks everything, right? pretty much everything. Um, so this is recommended for your events. I'm sure it's pretty much recommended for a filter too. It's gonna do the same thing. Um, all the 3M as well has one, which is a little more uh, like brand, but these are a little more expensive. The 3Ms are a little more expensive. I think this one I got at um, Walmart uh, a lot cheaper. I got like, I think I got a, a four pack for like 40 bucks. I can be, I, I think I'm wrong, but I think it was around 40 bucks. Um, but that's a four pack and I use them in the house. So it's good. Uh, it's gonna last me a while. Um, so the 3M version is also advanced allergen bacteria and viruses. It blocks out um, pretty much everything, the same thing that the MERV 13 does. Um, bacteria, viruses, and also has a 2.5, PM 2.5, exhaust particles, and blah, blah, blah. Smog, dust, air, all that kind of stuff. So let's get down to it. I can show you guys. We're going to go through. I'm going to do a top view so you guys can see what um, I'm doing. Uh, mind you, this was the first time I ever did it right now. So, and you know what? I saw a couple other videos. Maybe the 3M is different. Uh, it's more of like a paper looking one. This one is more like a fabric, you know, almost cottony. Um, if you guys can see that, see that? So um, it's it was stuck to the paper, I mean, to the wire a little better, a little harder, and I tore it, but I was still able to make several masks, um, you know, versus like what you would buy online. I mean, I tell you the truth. I mean, the uh, a filter availability is a lot better than before. Um, but if you guys still want something that's like really gonna filter out a lot of the uh, germs and and viruses uh, carriers, this is the way to go. Um, mind you, uh, also I think one of our um, fellow chubbers, uh, Lisa, she told me that uh, the CDC actually recommended as well coffee filters. So you can use coffee filter inside your mask and it's probably a lot easier than doing what i just did you know so you you got you got to do your research see which one is better what what works out for you but let's get to it now so i sped up the video um going through it because it took a long time to get it done um it actually took about 20 minutes to take it all apart and make everything cut it all up um but as you can see it's very much stuck to the to the cottony like material that's there um it was a pain in the butt to get off um especially around the edges the the main areas like the little crisscross areas were a lot a lot easier to remove but as you see right there i'm like trying to pull it off from the sides because it's it's completely glued all the way around um so i'll keep on doing that for a little bit and i think i'm just gonna cut to the other well it's already pretty much there uh, one thing that i did find is that if you use a different type of filter the ones that look like the more paper um uh it looks to be a little easier to uh, remove but still uh, still a pain in the butt to get it all done um especially here come the, the harder part was removing the the little um chicken wire looking stuff um 
so yeah it's 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 becoming a, <laughs> it was it was rough it was rough to get it done so you see how it's stuck on there like really good like they really glued those together but once you get that one part and like although with the mesh it was a lot easier to remove so you spread it all out and then you start at one end and just like start peeling off that mesh that's glued to the cottony stuff now you got to be careful with this stuff because it, it just started to tear on me because it's so cottony um it was a little rough and uh the tape sorry the tape the camera's moving a little bit too much there but um i'll try to fix that but yeah it was it was a little rough to get it all off um even just to get started on it um see i'm not trying to find different places where to pull them out um now you saw a little glimpse of my dog so i started removing it little by little and i i got a little too angsty and i think i might have torn it like around here somewhere and um you gotta really be patient and uh not yank it because it's glued on there really good so i mean i i mean i did tear it but you know i, I was still able to make several several filters with it ah you see right there that's where i tore it um but it's it's coming together pretty nicely it's pulling apart pretty nice just gotta like be patient with it some parts is like extra stuck on there so i think i might have torn it again Oh, there it goes again. So, I mean, you like I said, you have to do your research. Make sure you uh, see what the best option is for you um, as far as uh, doing this. Because, uh, and maybe wear gloves because that metal is very sharp. Thankfully, I didn't cut myself, but um, it's very, very sharp. So, I would, I would recommend wearing gloves doing this thing. Like, you know, some work gloves or something. But it came off. And you see the big old tear. <laughs> but what I did is I decided to go ahead and I'm gonna fold it up into uh, um, several, like I folded it up in half there and another half. And um, I did several uh, folds on it. I think about three folds. I tried to see if I had to peel off the right there to see if i had to peel off a layer but it's it's fine i might have kept it together and then here you just measure out how big you want to make your filters and just uh, uh yeah i decided to cut to, to fold it one more time right there because uh, that, that's perfect size right there for my filter so i, I was able to like it was about three inches and in tall so i just made my lines every three inches and and just started cutting see i didn't even bother doing the rest of it because i was like you know what? i think it's enough to make just uh for you guys i wanted to see um the, the mass so each now i was able to make those two layers there's a double layer so you can tell it's already like a ton of mass so just from there um so right there, there's two masks. There's another two two uh, filters. Another two more filters from each one. I mean, if, even if you want to cut those up and just have them as individual filters, you can have like, you can even double your amount of filters from there. So it's up to you. Um, I I recommend doing a double just because it's 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 not going to be. Um, um it's gonna work a lot better that way for you but yeah you can see you just cut them up in squares separate them put them in a little baggie and then um just pretty much put it in the in your mask and you're ready to go all right guys that's a wrap hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um tell me what you thought hopefully it helped you guys out uh i know it was a pain in the butt to do this for me um but I got a bunch of filters out of it, which is great. And I can use my mask now and everything. And uh, even though the cloth ones are good, okay? But add an extra layer of protection that's gonna protect you from 
any other virus carriers and stuff is even better so any any little bit helps to help stop uh the spread of this coronavirus or at least slow it down until they come up with a vaccine but that's a wrap guys uh don't forget smash that like hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification icons And turn on your notification icon ring -ding -ding. to get notified when we post new videos. Where did that voice come from? All right, big chubs. Out.